All right, guys, so we're going to be taking a look at Leon with Hurricane, and uh, he is very strong. And uh, honestly, I'm going to place him as the strongest striker in the game right now, even above red. Because uh, the damage that this guy can do is just unmatched right now. Like him in proper or in the best scenario, he's going to be hitting like 30,000 damage on Inferno. And it's it's insane. It's insane the amount of damage that this guy can actually do. Um, but we're not going to be taking a look at that today. We're going to be taking a look at Hurricane. And at 3 out of 5 for Hurricane, the base power is at 138. And the accuracy is 70%. But we don't have to worry about that because he has Piercing Gaze. So all of his moves are going to be hitting, which is great. Um, and... For his grid for hurricane this is what i have built for him so we have um three hurricane no four hurricane power-ups and then we got burn synergy three because burn synergy is going to be good no matter what kind of build you have for him uh because with earthquake or hurricane when you have burn synergy on the on the enemy he's going to be getting that 30 percent increase to uh to damage which is, which is going to add to how strong this guy actually is because with uh, inferno guaranteeing a burn for leon um, that just makes a 30% increase uh, almost like 100% of the time. So it's going to be very good. Now obviously some battles, um, they're going to be able to get rid of the burn. Uh, but it just depends on the event that you're taking on. But for the most part, burn is going to be like 100% guarantee because of Inferno. So you're going to want to have burn synergy on Leon no matter what. Um, and then I have Sync Burst, uh, Sync Burst 1. And then Sync Stat Reboot 3. And then Hurricane Move Gauge Refresh 3 of course. Um, you need move cage refresh <laughs> um, But yeah, so that's the grid that I have built for Leon um, And uh, like he is a force to be reckoned with no matter what kind of move you're uh, you're using him with um, Like if you're going in against a stage that's weak to earthquake or earth um, Then of course Leon with earthquake is gonna be pretty devastating as well because again when you put inferno on the enemy And then they become burned you're gonna be getting that nice 30% increase to your damage so then Earthquake is just going to be doing much more damage and same with Hurricane and then of course Inferno as well, especially in the sun. Uh, but Inferno and Leon, this is the move that's going to be hitting the hardest because when you have Sunny Day up as well with the burn, that's like an 80% uh, increase to his damage on top of what he already gives on his uh, Master Passive as well. So <laughs> this guy is pretty nutty, that's for sure. And again, I still have um, Critical Strike 1 on him. That didn't change because uh, I don't have any more Lucky Cookies or um, or Cookies to uh, to try to get Critical Strike 2. So he like for what you see in this battle, he could be hitting much harder if uh, he was 5 out of 5 and if he had uh, Critical Strike 2. So just take that into account as well. And of course, if we had a full Galar team, which we don't. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let's just go into the battle and see how Leon could perform with Hurricane. And uh, amongst all the moves, I really do like Hurricane and Earthquake and Inferno. Like, they're, it's just such a nice, fun combo to have. Um, but yeah, um, Rotom is going to be very good with uh, with the Leon just because um, she is going to be able to help uh, lower uh, our sick move countdown and increase our special attack, which is going to be good. So let's see how much uh, Leon is going to do uh, before we end up burning the target. Um, like this battle we're gonna see how you can perform uh, when they're not burned and then next battle we're gonna add in the burn to see how much more of an increase it's gonna be so right now like they have the special defense barrier up right now so he's hitting for like 3,000 damage when he is plus four on special attack um, so let's try to get one more special attack increase um, so that we can see how much he's gonna do um, and it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting that uh, spe uh, next special attack increase so <laughs> kind of annoying there um Elisa is not wanting to play along there but uh, but that's okay um so like roughly around 3,000 damage um when the um, uh, when the special defense barrier is up um and how much is this gonna do yeah so about 3,500 uh, damage here so that's not bad it's not bad um but of course like when the burn comes into play and uh, he's plus six on his special attack like that like he's easily gonna be doing like around 7,000 damage when he's super effective on a hurricane when the burn is active as well so i cannot wait to see how much he's gonna do uh next battle when they're burned like it's gonna be insane and it's gonna be a lot of damage for sure um and the fact that he has piercing gauge just makes him so much better as well because then you could add in these crazy moves for leon like hurricane inferno just making him so much better um but yeah, like these percentage increases, uh, like it's definitely nothing to sleep on uh, because like percentages over flat number increase, they're always going to be better no matter how you put it. And that's why damage reduction is going to be very good too. 
Um, but uh, the one thing that's going to add to uh, making async pair very good is in the future they will potentially have async pair that can do that can be super effective against all types and that sync pair is that's probably going to be reserved for red and uh, once that happens that's going to easily be the most broken character in the game <laughs> like imagine having a sync pair that is super effective against all types like you could take him into any kind of battle and then you're going to be fine that's literally going to be the best sync pair in the game and it's going to be the one sync pair that is going to be aging very very well um, and originally, I did thought that Leon was the one going to be having a super effective against all types, but I misread on the passive for Leon, and I thought it was super effective against all types, but that's not the case at all. Uh, but it's just more like of what the N and Zekron have, so, and it's not, it's not a bad thing. Um, it's definitely very good, because in, like, these kind of situations, when uh, Leon is super effective, he's going to be hitting a bunch of damage, like, it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, so yeah. Ro uh, um, now Rosa is burned, so now we're going to be getting that nice special 30% uh, increase, which is going to be very good. And then we are going to be plus 6 on a special attack now, which is going to be insane. So yeah, there we go. 7,000 damage. <laughs> 7,000 damage on, uh, on Hurricane when they are burned. Super effective. Pretty crazy, that's for sure. Definitely nothing to take lightly. Um, Leon with Hurricane, um, Burn Synergy, you definitely want Burn Synergy no matter what, uh, because even with Earthquake, it's, you're going to be getting that 30% increase with, uh, uh, with Hurricane, which is going to be very, very good. Um, like, again, like, th the, these percentage increase, like these multipliers, definitely don't want to take into, you don't want to take lightly, because... Uh, oh, I hate these unity attacks, honestly. These unity attacks are probably the most annoying things in uh, Pokemon Masters when you're trying to speed through uh, co-op. Then again, I do have it on times 2 speed, so... <laughs> I'm talking about speed, but we're just not really going that fast. But uh, but yeah, again, like you don't want to take these multipliers too lightly. Uh, just because like they do make a big impact. And clearly, we can see how much damage he does when they're burned uh, to, from when he's they're not burned. Like it's a big damage increase. That's like almost a 4,000 damage increase. And I think they still had their uh, special defense barrier up as well. So like if that was taken down, the amount of damage that you can do is going to be crazy. So you know what? Let's actually go back into it and uh, wait for the, the special defense barrier to go down. And then we're, we're going to start attacking with, uh, with uh, Hurricane again. Uh, because if he was doing 7,000 damage, if the barrier was up... That could possibly be like 8,000 damage, uh, maybe almost 9,000 damage uh, when the barrier is not up. So I think the barrier was down, but I could I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but I want to try to get up to plus 6 special attack again, so hopefully uh, Rota can give it to us again. Not like the, the other time when we first went into these battles. So. <laughs> um, so in the meantime, I guess we could just take out the side Pokemon, because why not? Uh, while we're waiting for uh, the barrier to go down. Um, so yeah, if the barrier was actually down, then that still, regardless, that's going to be a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage for sure, especially for Hurricane. So like when it comes to the blue or Charizard and Leon, if you, okay, so if you have blue and, uh, and if we also have Leon, honestly, you're probably going to be better off with uh, Leon's grid with Hurricane. Uh, just because... He is going to be hitting much harder than Red, and uh, but like then again, Red, I mean uh, Blue, has his um, AOE sync move uh, with um, uh, with the flying type. So like obviously, if we're going against the flying type um, and you're super effective, you're most likely actually going to be better off with Blue, just because the sync move is going to be super effective as well. But in terms of like raw damage on like their basic attack, like Hurricane. Leon and uh, Charizard are going to be much better than, uh, 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 what's his name, Blue. And there we go, yeah, like 8,000 damage. Like that, <laughs> definitely something you don't want to take lightly. This guy, like he is number one for a reason now. Um, like hitting almost 10,000 damage, very close to 10,000 damage on Hurricane. Not even sync moving yet either. So, <laughs> he is insanely good. He is insane. And he's a lot of fun to use as well. Um, again, like I still stand by what I said before, like on the initial release for Leon. I preferred if he were to get released uh, during the two-year anniversary with uh, Dynamaxing. Um, just because it would have fit much better there. 
but uh, obviously like if you were to summon now and you get Leon he's going to be able to Dynamax in the future when the two-year anniversary does come because Leon and his Charizard are like the mascot for Dynamaxing because every time you think of Dynamaxing you probably think of Charizard and his form right so it, it like it, it it would be a missed opportunity if they just don't let uh, Leon and uh, Charizard Dynamax unless they're planning planning on bringing another Leon that can Dynamax. But uh, I don't know. That would be pretty stupid if they do that. <laughs> and then just having Leon there with uh, with a non Dynamax Charizard. So I don't know. We're gonna have to see what they they do in the future. But uh, but yeah, Leon and Charizard. No matter what move you are you're meaning them with, they're gonna be insane. Um, again, like that burn synergy on the grid for Leon is going to be insane. Um, and then having the guaranteed burn with uh, Inferno is a nice little combo for Hurricane and Earthquake too, whichever you choose um, or whichever battle you're going into. Like it's just, he's so good. He's so good and uh, definitely is better than Red. The amount of damage you can do is just unmatched. Now, Red Sick move probably is a little bit better than Leon's, but I don't know. I would probably say Leon's is better um, just because, like, again, he does have all those multipliers. So, like, when he has the super effective uh, uh, up on his, from his passive, he's going to be doing even more damage. So, that's another thing to take into account. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. We saw what he can perform or what he can do with Ur Hurricane. And uh, definitely nothing to be taken lightly. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> He's very good. And then in single player, when you have the proper team and everything, like this guy's going to be doing an insane amount of damage. A full Galar team, increasing your attack and everything even more. Like, he's just nutty. He's just a nutty, nutty sync pair. And uh, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with him. Um, but yeah, again, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys summon for him and you are using him, let me know what you guys think of him. Do you think he is the best sync pair in the game? Because obviously, regardless if you think it's a fact or if it's opinion, um, I, I stand by him being the best sinker in the game or striker in the game. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you, if you are using Leon, let me know what you think of him. Uh, do you think he's, uh, he's the best or do you think Red is still the best? Let me know all that down in the comments below. And, and if you do think Red is better, let me know why. Let me know why. Because I would like to hear why you think Red would be better. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to argue with that because I know Red is still very good. Um, considering Leon is also going to be buffing him because of the master skill or the master passive. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let me know all that down in the comments below. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.